Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. We are looking this week at Psalm 57 and um, meditating on it. I um, sat and prayed over it um, yesterday and um, journaled over it. And we're just encouraging you to take these Psalms and to meditate on them and to turn them into prayers and um, be a part of the fabric of your day as you spend time with God. So uh, we'll read it for you. Jenny will kick us off. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me, for in you my soul takes refuge. I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. I cry out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He sends from heaven and saves me, rebuking those who hotly pursue me. God sends his love and his faithfulness. I am in the midst of lions, I lie among ravenous beasts, men whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are sharp swords. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be over all the earth. They spread a net for my feet, I was bowed down in distress. They dug a pit in my path, but they have fallen into it themselves. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. Awake, my soul, awake, harp and lyre, I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. For great is your love, reaching to the heavens, your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. So yesterday we looked a bit at the, the cave, the theme of the cave that um, David was hiding in. And uh, we believe that this um, psalm is set in the period when he was on fleeing for his life from Saul and uh, then was hiding in a cave, the cave of Adullam. And um, Saul came into the cave to relieve himself and was at David's mercy, really, unknowingly. But David could not touch the Lord's anointed. But in this, in this moment, in this um, moment of distress where he's hiding and fleeing, he, um, and, and hiding in a cave, which could be um, perceived as, as a, a good shelter from, from the enemy. He's saying, that's not my shelter. My shelter, my refuge is in God. And under his wings, I will find refuge. And the shadow of God's wings is a thing that comes up a lot in the Bible. Um, there's, there's even in Ruth, when she comes to, um, to Israel, she's... Um, in her country in Moab, there was a, a big famine and she had to come to Israel and somebody says to her, Boaz, the man she ends up marrying, says, you know, you have come to God under whose wings you have found shelter. So it's it was a, a thing that was a, a very important to them. And if you um, look at the Psalms, throughout the Psalms, over and over, David um, talks about the, the shadow of God's wings. And uh, that's such a lovely image of, of protection and of safety and of peace and of calm. There's a, um, a lovely old hymn called In the Shadow of His Wings, and it goes, In the shadow of his wings there is rest, sweet rest. There is rest from care and labor. There is rest for friend and neighbor. In the shadow of his wings there is rest, sweet rest. In the shadow of his wings there is rest. So uh, that image of a a baby bird, a chick in the nest, and the mother uh, bird just covering the chick with, with her wings. That is, um, that is very reassuring, isn't it? And, and God wants us to know that in the midst of uh, the storms of life, the troubles of life, actually where, where he finds us, where he puts us, where he wants to keep us is under his wings. And there's a story of um, uh, Dwight Moody, who was a, a big Bible preacher, and he was traveling from America or, or from England to America or from, I forget which way around it was, but he was um, on a ship as you did it back then and um, a shaft broke on the ship and they were in great distress because the water, the ship was starting to take water and nobody knew if they would sink or not and there were no rescue ships nearby. Um, so it was, everybody was very frightened and very worried and um, including D.L. Moody, and um, he said then that he decided, after a few days of fear and trepidation, he um, asked the captain if he could hold a meeting, and he was allowed, and he read 
um, he read a Psalm, Psalm 91 actually, but again, it was that the shadow of the wings, sheltering in the shadow of the wings of God. And as he uh, spoke on that and prayed, um, he then felt a real peace and a real reassurance. And he went back to his cabinet and slept and slept in that um, presence, in the presence of imminent danger. And, um, and the ship what did get repaired and um, it was, you know, a, a, a bit of a miracle. But um, he says, in, God heard my cry and enabled me to say from the depth of my soul, thy will be done. I went to bed and fell asleep almost immediately. And uh, this became a vibrant new scripture to D.L. Moody. And he discovered, as you and I must also discover, that the safest place in the world is in the shadow of the Almighty under his wings. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowl's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Under his wings you will find refuge. Psalm 57 I will take refuge in the shadow of your wings until the disaster has passed. Wasn't there a story as well about um, a mother bird protecting her chicks where there was a forest fire? Did you read that as well? I read that recently somewhere. No, I don't remember I can't that. remember where I read it. Um, but uh, I think basically the forest was scorched and uh, and as, they, as the conservationists came in, they found a dead bird with its wings extended. And then when they lifted the bird, there were these live chicks underneath. And the mother bird had covered her chicks with her wings and saved, <laughs> <laughs> saved their lives. And isn't that a picture really of, of God for us, giving his life for us. Under his wings, we find refuge and protection until the disaster has passed and uh, as i said i i was praying this psalm uh, in the morning and journaling over it and just um taking lines and praying them starting with the have mercy on me O oh god have mercy for i knew my soul takes refuge and i will take refuge in the shadow of your wings i cry out to god he sends from heaven and saves me and um, it, is, it is a great thing just to be able to come to God and to find refuge in him and to take refuge under his wings and um, to turn our anxious thoughts to him and bring our prayer requests to him and hide ourselves in him. I hide myself in thee. Um, and, and David came to this cave of Adullam, which some say means in Aramaic, <laughs> in Arabic, um, Adullah, a refuge, <laughs> but the real refuge, as Jenny said, the real refuge is God um, from a pursuing king, from enemies who are out to kill him, uh, take his life. And um, he says, I'm in the midst of lions. I lie among ravenous beasts, men whose teeth are spears and arrows, whose tongues are sharp swords. Um, he's surrounded by real enemies, including Saul and his men out to take David's life. He said, God, I'm surrounded by these people, and um, but you're my refuge, and I'm going to hide myself in you. And whatever circumstances surround us, whatever situations, whatever enemies within, without, emotional, physical, real people, whatever it is, circumstances, we can take refuge in God and uh, climb under his wings. <laughs> um, what a great image that mm -hmm. is. So we'd love to pray for you this morning and ask God uh, to be a place of refuge for you and um, just take time to, to, to go over this psalm and, and turn some of these lines in, into prayers for your own situation and for others that you want to lift up before, before God. Shall we pray together? Lord, we pray that um, we would come to you and, and call out to you for mercy like David did. And Lord, and under your wings that we would take that we would take refuge. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest, will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. <laughs> I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my strength, my deliverer. 
And so, Father, we come to you this morning and whatever uh, surrounds us, Lord, whatever comes against us, we pray, Lord, that in you we would find refuge, just like David did. And you are our true refuge and our true strength. Thank you that you cover us with your wings. You protect us, Lord. You preserve us. You're a good Father that looks after us. And we thank you, God, for your protection and deliverance this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hope you have a great Tuesday. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for some more of Psalm 57. God bless you.